Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another Nanmu review as we are going to take a look at yet another paint variant of this brand new Tyrannosaurus Rex, the once and future king Tyrannosaurus Rex. But we also actually have the same version that we had reviewed recently, but we now have it with the base, so we get to take a look at the base in this video. So we have a little bit extra in this one, but as you can see, as far as the box art goes, something I didn't show in the last video, you can see that we have a really nice image of the Rex here on the front of the box, pretty much your standard as far as what a Nanmu box usually looks like, but it always looks super cool and definitely an overall really nice looking box. And then we also have the box for the base over here, which gives us a nice preview of the base. So. Without further ado, let's pop both of these open and bring in our Tyrannosaurus and its base. And just like last time, we again have the art card. Now, the art card is going to be the same in every single one of these figures, no matter which variant you choose. But you can see we have the Lost World Jurassic Park style paint scheme on the Rex in the art card. And again, the kind of ledge there that is exactly how the base looks. And then we also have the fantastic hand-drawn version here on the back as far as the artwork goes. Again, we had shown this off in the initial review. And then we also have, of course, our Hannah Dundee figure, which is super, super cool as well. So those extras do come with each of the Tyrannosaurs. And then here is our base. And I must say, I'm really really impressed with how colorful it is. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be as colorful as it is in the images that I had seen online. I also am really impressed with the sculpt in general. It is so realistic looking. Like I love the way that there's kind of like different layers right here as we look at the side of the ledge. But I think more than anything, I'm really blown away by just how colorful it is because that's something I was absolutely not expecting at all. And then... We have our Tyrannosaurus, and if we can go ahead and bring him in here and slide him on the base, we'll get our first look here at what the Rex looks like on its base. And there we go, looking super awesome. Now up on the base, up above, I guess, the entire valley that it might be overlooking, kind of trying to show off the fact that the Tyrannosaurus here is the king of this island that he is overlooking and it looks really really cool here on the base definitely like the base my first chance of actually taking a look at the tyrannosaurus on the base and it is beautiful and then we also have the brownish version here to take a look at which is one that we did not have the opportunity to take a look at in the initial review we only had taken a look at that you know, greenish version, the Lost World version, but we now have an alternate paint variant here for this review to take a look at. So unfortunately, I don't have the base for this one. I did not order it with the base because I just felt like I didn't need all of the bases because 90% of the time, for some reason, when I get the Nanmu figures, I'll usually only keep like one on the base and then the other bases end up getting put away. So I figured why not just go ahead and get one base and not worry about it with the others. And, uh, I think they still look super cool in comparison to each other, and even though this one has more of like a female type of a coloration to it, it's still an incredible looking Tyrannosaurus. Like if you exclude the fact that it's obviously based off of the Lost World Jurassic Park and just look at it as being a random Tyrannosaurus Rex, that is a gorgeous and really quite naturalistic paint scheme for that Tyrannosaurus. So they've done a great job on this, and there's also the Obsidian version, which is the final version that I have to get that I'm still awaiting its arrival and who knows how long that'll take, but that one as well looks great. So Nanmo, as per usual, does a great job as far as choosing the paint schemes for their figures. But anyway, I'm really psyched to take a closer look at this, so let's go ahead and jump right to a closer look right now. Now, as far as the sculpt goes, we really don't need to take a look at the sculpt. We did a very nice, very thorough review of the sculpt of the Rex on the initial review, so if you'd like to see a more detailed review of the actual sculpt make sure you check out the first review which I will link in the description but what we really need to take a look at with this one would be the coloration so what we have for the majority of the Rex seems to be some really nice variations of browns as there are a lot of different variations of browns included you could see a really nice dark brown here in the snout you can also see like some very dark browns leading up here as well as a beautiful light brown in between and you see more and more of that throughout the entire course of the figure like just looking here all throughout the eye area underneath the eye and even leading up into the palette you can see some very nice variations of lighter and darker shades of browns as well as again that kind of like a khaki color 
that overtakes the majority of the palette, but you can also see some variation of brown included within there. There's also some lighter browns and darker browns up here that kind of stripe down into the palette. So that's very reminiscent of what the kind of Jurassic Park style T-Rex looks like, and I like that although they've given them all different colorations, they still sort of keep that same similar style with the striping down at the snout. You can also see the nostrils are sculpted out and uh, elaborated really nicely there on the tip of the snout with a black coloration. The eyes, of course, darken around the eyes with a very nice dark black or a very dark brown, but the eyes of this one are beautiful looking like with a really really nice looking bluish coloration which I think looks so nice in comparison to the darker coloration of the majority of the figure those eyes pop beautifully you can see again blue black and white included all within that eye and you can see that it also sports a very nice gloss coat and I believe it's applied with a decal so it has a very detailed appearance even in the eye area I also love that up here above like the eye area you can see how it's uh, painted with a really nice dark brown, but there's like that lighter brown that creeps through each and every one of those very large osteoderm-like scales, and it looks really, really cool. You can see, however, when we move down here that there's a little bit more of like a kind of a creamy color there in the rear of the head, and you can also see that there's almost like a goldish brown down here. Once we go down into the lower jaw, you can see a nice dark black that kind of runs along the course of the lower jaw, and you can also see some variation of color with like some off-whites and some variations of brown included in there, and it's all beautifully brought together with a very nice dark wash that makes each and every one of those scales pop perfectly. The mouth appears to be painted very similarly, if not exactly the same to the Initial one that we had taken a look at, you could see yet again we have a very nice pinkish coloration here on the kind of skin flap here on the side of the mouth, as well as a really nice dark wash that's been applied to make the detail pop beautifully. And then the tongue is exactly the same deal as far as like a really nice kind of a pinkish tone of color, but a slightly different tone of pink than what we see on the side of the mouth. And again, a really nice wash has been included so that all of that detail pops beautifully, and it just looks incredibly lifelike and realistic in there. With the gloss coat, it just shines so beautifully and looks exactly like a real living animal's tongue. And of course, we have those translucent sort of teeth, which look super nice. I like that they again have some variations of like browns and stuff to them, just adding a bit more of a realistic appearance to them, which is something that Nanmu can, I would say, probably take claim to as having the most realistic mouths of their figures potentially more so than any other company. I think the only one close to them before would have been Rebor, but I think at this point Nanmu has probably surpassed them. And you can see that the inside of the mouth on the upper side as well is just insanely nice from a detailing standpoint, but that paint just makes it come to life so nicely. Really, really gorgeous paintwork everywhere. And then as we start to move down into the neck, you can continue to see so many different variations of browns. I like that it's a really nice brown here, but it actually lightens up to a lighter brown that kind of creeps between that same variation of brown that we have here. It runs up the course of the back, but there's also a lighter brown that kind of creeps through, causing it to have so much color variation, which I really, really love. But there's also these really cool blue stripes that come down here, and you can see that it's a similar style to the Lost World version, but a little bit more abundant, I would say, as far as the striping goes. And you can see that those stripes continue to run throughout the course of the figure all down the spinal column, but they also stripe down here into the side of the stomach, which just gives it such a beautiful, very flashy look. And it's nice to see some blue applied to a figure, especially when it looks as very nice and natural as it does on this Rex. And just looking at it here, again, there's so many different areas of slight alternate variations of browns like you can see a slightly alternate brown here compared to what you see here same deal for the arm area it's a slightly darker variation of brown you can almost see like some pinkish browns right here running along in front of the thigh in the stomach region you can also just pick up on like a nice wash that's been applied so all of the detail pops and again just giving it so much color variation just creating such an overall incredibly lifelike appearance as far as the way a real animal would look with slightly alternate variations of skin tone like it's really, really realistic. And again, this is one of the many reasons why I feel like Nanmu is just leading the charge as far as their figures go and uh, obviously have better figures than pretty much anybody else when it comes to both the sculpt but also the paint standpoint. The arms also have some really nice variation of color to them and you can also see that the nails are painted really nicely. The nails also have a gloss coat to them so they shine like real nails would. Always a huge plus. 
and then leading back here into the thigh again many different variations of brown you can see how we have like a darker brown here but it lightens a little bit down here and then you can see more of those blue stripes they kind of become really erratic once you get into the thigh and they're just all over the place you can also see this kind of like an off-white that's been nicely dry brushed over the back of the thigh and calf region and then we run down the course of the foot you can see even like some tones of a yellowish brown here on the back of the foot but the foot itself is just gorgeous looking again i really love the sculpting of the foot here it reminds me so much so of a jp rex and that's exactly of course what they were going for but if you've ever seen that image of the foot of the animatronic rex and uh, steven spielberg and stuff sitting by it it looks pretty much exactly like the foot sculpt does of this nanmu rex even though that one was obviously rexy's foot they would of course share a very similar looking foot so I feel like Nanmu has nailed it as far as the foot sculpt of this Rex goes. But also so much really nice realistic paintwork. Again, you can see lighter shades of brown and everything creeping through certain areas of the skin texture in the feet, even within the scoots running down the toes. And the nails down here also are a really nice black coloration, but have like a kind of a yellowish brown sort of that's dry brushed over top of them so that it adds even color variation to the nails as well. And then once we get back here into the tail, we lead out the length of the tail, and we have really big blue stripes here that look beautiful. The entire length of the tail, they just stripe the entire way out, and it just looks so flashy but so natural. And again, you can see how nice the dark wash is that's been applied. So each and every area of the skin texture, every crack and crevice pops so realistically throughout. The underside of the Rex also has a really nice light tone of color. It almost looks like a light green like if you look here in the stomach region it's almost looking like a light green there's a little hint of yellow here as well but again it's a very cool coloration that they've used for the underside and the wash that they've applied pops throughout that area as well really quite nicely and then over here again you're going to see that same style of paintwork of course it's not going to look any different really over here than what we had just seen on the other side but you could see again that beautiful looking blue eye and again the paintwork is just masterfully well done it just looks so unbelievably lifelike and beautiful no matter where you look you've got the really nice blue stripes and i think they almost look more vibrant over here on this side i'm not sure why but like looking up here at the top look how nice that blue looks that looks so cool so flashy on this rex and the paintwork continues to be really precise throughout there's no sloppiness or anything that i can see anywhere as far as the paintwork goes of this rex and it all looks so nice and natural realistically applied to look like skin color body color of the rex and not just paint on a figure nanmu really nailed it as far as both of these tyrannosaurus figures and it is now nice to have a second variant here especially one as beautiful as this it's almost tough to say if i like this one better than the greenish one and i'm a gigantic fan of the lost world but this one is just so incredibly nice and then we have our base and you can see the base again like i was stating earlier is just so unbelievably colorful like there's just tons and tons and tons of colors included in here with like orangish tones pinkish purplish blue green there's just so much going on as far as coloration goes it's really quite crazy i love how realistic the actual texturing is as well to the base and the fact that there's like cracks and stuff throughout adding in just those extra bits of realism to the base of course this is the base that goes with the lost world jurassic park male rex paint scheme not the base that goes with that brown one that we were just looking at i don't have the base for that one it would be the same style base but it would be a different color if you got the base with the brown rex but you can see that the detailing of the base looks absolutely phenomenal no matter where you look at it like there's just so much beautiful detailing but also so much coloration it's crazy just how much coloration it has and the actual sculpt is incredibly lifelike it pretty much looks exactly like a rocky ledge should look and nanmu pretty much always nails it when it comes to every aspect of their models but you can really see just how fantastic the base here of that lost world version looks and then on the underside we have a really nice smooth beautiful very high quality feel as well as the nanmu logo and the once in future king right there so a gorgeous base to go with a gorgeous model now i feel like we don't need to do any sizes we don't need to measure our tyrannosaurs or anything like that because we did do that in the review of the green one just a few days ago but there was a comparison that uh, was brought to my attention that I actually thought was a great idea. My boy Ronnie Patterson had pointed out the fact that 
with the Rex kind of standing off of the base, just kind of standing here with its head crouched down, it would look cool in comparison to the sick Triceratops, also released by Nanmo, and he couldn't be more correct. Look at how cool that looks, and it honestly makes the entire thing make so much sense as far as the Rex kind of crouching down, especially if we open the mouth. So it looks like the Tyrannosaur has potentially just taken down that Triceratops if we move them up here a little bit. Look how cool that looks. That is definitely the ideal way, I would say, to display your Tyrannosaurus if you are just getting the standard version here without the base and you happen to have the sick Triceratops. And even if you don't have the sick Triceratops, I would recommend picking it up just for this exact diorama because that looks unbelievably cool. It's perfectly positioned so that the kind of crouching position of the head there is like coming in for a bite on that sick Triceratops and it just creates such an unbelievably awesome diorama. So this second variant of the Nanmu Once and Future King Tyrannosaurus, the almost more female version, is just as beautiful, if not potentially even nicer, than the Green Lost World version. I'm honestly having a very hard time picking which one I like more, but the brownish version is just unbelievably beautiful overall, and I love how they've created this one with a really nice almost female looking paint scheme but added in some nice elements of flashiness with those blue stripes throughout the course of the figure and the blue is so subtle with the way it's applied like it's not overly bright it's a really nice dark blue but it shines very nicely on the figure and allows a really nice flashy appearance but in probably the most naturalistic flashy way that I think I've ever seen on a dinosaur model. The paintwork, as per usual when it comes to Nanmu, is just as expertly done as you're probably ever going to find. Yet again, they release another model with a paint job that looks like it came straight from a paleo artist that gets paid tons and tons of money to give you the absolute best quality paint scheme, and it's actually a factory-released figure from Nanmu, which just shows off how unbelievable the overall quality of their products is. When you buy a Nanmu model, you know you are getting the highest of quality in every aspect of that release. Nanmu is leading the charge, I would say, as far as dinosaur models go and so far two out of the three versions of the tyrannosaurus here have been reviewed on my channel and both of those versions are a great example as to why of course the sculpt is phenomenal it was in the initial review it still is now and we also had a look here at what the base looks like now with the greenish version very colorful looking base but an incredibly beautifully sculpted base like really highly detailed as per usual of course we have a peg there on the base that supports the tyrannosaurus so he doesn't have any type of balancing issues but that's another thing that's really good about these tyrannosaurs is that they don't need the base they don't need the peg they honestly stand perfectly but having one without the base and one with the base I feel like looks really cool when the two are together because it creates some difference with one kind of walking up a ledge and the other one kind of crouching down. Like they create a really cool duo but have some difference to them which I also really love. So yet another unbelievably beautiful release from Nanmu, no surprise there. Both versions of this Tyrannosaurus that we have here to take a look at right now are incredibly beautiful and without question a gigantic recommendation from me if you have not purchased one of these rex figures from nanmu yet make sure you do that right now with the link that i will include to dan's dinosaurs head on over there purchase yourself one of these beautiful tyrannosaurs and in fact tell dan while you're there that i sent you so that you can order yourself one of these tyrannosaurs because every time you do that it helps the channel out greatly so make sure you do all that make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review Thanks for watching.